All of us are looking for an ideal balance between strength and flexibility in the left hand. Strength is necessary, but flexibility gives us more interpretive options and more control over pitch and nuance. To develop flexibility in the hand, it's important to cultivate a flexible feeling from the base joint, which is the top joint here, all the way down to the finger pad. If I set my hand at about a 40 degree, 45 degree angle to the string and flex down the string, it gives me a cushioning that travels all the way down the finger and affects my sense of arm weight in a positive way. If I change from finger to finger on a semitone, you'll see the flexing action on the lower finger and the arrival of the higher finger being prepared by that flexing action. Back to normal position. Back to normal position. So you can see that the flexing of the lower numbered finger leads to a comfortable arrival by the higher numbered finger. This exercise, I sometimes refer to this as the pump exercise, it's in the cello ergonomics method which I've written, which I work with my students. Having explored the flexing action of each individual finger, rotation is a natural means of transporting the arm weight from finger to finger. From a more inclined position of the hand on the first finger, you could refer to this as a more pronated hand, to a more square position of the hand on the fourth. <laughs> You could say that was a slightly more supinated position of the hand. Now, if you add a little bit of rotation, it's just a few degrees of rotation, sort of akin to a doorknob or a light bulb, you could say. That, that is a natural use of the forearm to deliver the weight either to the top finger or the bottom finger or any of the fingers in between.